Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now we are going to see a process of a scalable two-phase top-down specialization approach for data analysis using MapReduce and Cloud. So today's cloud computing technology moves towards the big data process. Here we are uh, uh, providing the big data applications in which map reducing performs are being performed on the cloud and also the main core of the uh, top-down scalable approach is for we how to anonymize the data for the big data computations and uh, also we make use of the parallel capacity of uh, um, MapReduce we provide the specializations packet for anonymization process and the first process the data sets are partitioned into a group of smaller data sets and these data sets are anonymous in parallel fashion and second is that we uh, at last we integrate all the anonymous results in turn one so by means of this process we improve the scale bit and efficiency by indexing the anonymous data records next we are going to see a flow of the process first we have uh, collected the larger data which is uh, uh, tends to be in bigger data computing so we have uh, taken the some profiling user profiling data so main core of this approach to perform the anonymization in a parallel fashion in order to apply the MapReduce process we have to partition the data before applying into the MapReduce cloud and after that uh, applying the uh, partition we have to split it into the smaller data set and after that uh, we have to apply the, uh, the algorithm IG special IGPL initiation and specialization for that OB OBS strategies and after applying that uh, performing these operations our data is uh, uh, anonymous and performing uh, from there we have to perform our MapReduce process so MapReduce was actually works on the like uh, we have uh, we have specifically uh, give some of the process to the mapper class and uh, some of the passes to reducer class so that it will perform in a MapReduce process and after applying the anonymization uh, map reducing we collect the intermediate results which is happened in the form of quantity identifier technique uh, after it will be updated into the MapReduce at last we get the intermediate results as an MRTS by means of MRTS driving process and uh, finally we apply the specialization process we finally we get the overall merging process to check the integrity of the process next we are going to see a demo of the process before starting the process we have to configure the Hadoop um, so uh, so this is a Hadoop machine uh, in which uh, our remote jobs are being executed so the IP address of the virtual machine this is a Unix machine so before starting that uh, we have to give some commands to start the server start Hadoop. so uh, when you start the Hadoop it will show like it is already started and after that uh, once you start this uh, so we can able to run the process these uh, are remote Unix machines is integrated into this Eclipse actually we are using the Eclipse version SDK Europa which is uh, the this uh, specific Europa version is used to run the this process and after that uh, so this is our package first we have to run the frame on Java. So before running the present also, this is our MapReduce location, this is a Hadoop server. So this is the IP address of that uh, virtual machine in which we are being integrated. Just run the frame on, give uh, run, us, uh, run on Hadoop. So just select the server and give finish. Give, uh, first we have to load the data set and choose the file just uh, go to the D location and uh, the scalable find the scalable folder find uh, inside the new select data dot txt here our data set has been loaded it will show the uh, data of the any students student data set and the progress then after the, the size of the file total file the total records present and the total attributes these are the original relation and its weight and after that uh, we have to split this is the in order to apply the data partition we have to split the files so we have to split the files and you can uh, able to enter any number of uh, number of files to split it and uh, this uh, splitted files have been uploaded into the Hadoop environment 
so we have to uh, here we are have, uh, uploaded into the cloud that is we, uh, in our process we have uploaded into Hadoop uh, server for example this is the distributed file system Hadoop location here you can see give refresh refresh here you, you so once you ref uh, once you, uh, just uh, in that Hadoop yeah, once you give the refresh process you we can able to see the data which has been being uploaded into the Hadoop so this is the uh, the location where the data has been stored in the remote uh, server so for example HTFS the IP this is the path which is has been uploaded into and after uh, uh, uploading the data into the Hadoop we are going for the further process with the MRTDS driver process here you can find the you can select the attribute and, uh, and uh, we have to find the relevant match for the each and every column for this uh, attribute results is seven so we have to uh, this is actually uh, that uh, IPGL initialization process where we find the relevant records and anonymization is being performed here and also uh, the cutter is the one of the attribute find is when you give the find it will find the relevant match it will find the relevant match means it will update one otherwise zero and after that once you uh, reaches the once you re uh, reach uh, the uh, value 7 you can able to uh, give the update until you re uh, uh, reach the number 7 the 7 records you will have to give you, you uh, records will you have to give the find and result uh, and, and, uh, and give results until you find the number 7 uh, give update and after that these are the align attributes uh, we have to find the attributes uh, weights for each and every attributes after that this is the parent uh, attribute this is a quancy quanti quancy uh, identifiers is used to for finding the unique record in, in the M MRTDS driver process then uh, we have we perform the mapper process after that we perform the reducer process and also we generate the intermit key for each and every attributes this is the original file first we uh, here we applied the n anonymization process so we have find at the k anonymity here so then we have anonymated the second kind of uh, anonymization records after that we find the anonymations for the third records we have applied here we have after uh, while uh, performing the anonymization operations for the reducer class we have applied the anonymizations after that finally uh, we merge merging operation here we uh, merge all the uh, three intermediate data partition results after that we show when we leave you show it will uh, um, uh, merge all the anonymous or data partition records and show and retired from the Hadoop and it will show the map reduce map reduce process uh, being performed on the cloud and results from the Hadoop so all through the process we have achieved the uh, data anonymization process by means of IGSPL initialization and updation process and also with the help of the quasi identifier we can we can able to perform the Hadoop map reduce process in which we perform the data anonymization records so finally our map reduced uh, process our data partition the files have been merged successfully here so uh, all through the process we have achieved the uh, data anonymization by means of the map reducing process and after that by means of a normal security process lacks in um, basic data security mechanism in which encryption is per performed but in this process uh, our uh, sp um, data anonymization consisting of uh, the specialization and initialization IGPL approach to uh, anonymize the files by using of the MapReduce uh, methodology and quasi-antifair process thank you for watching